so much for joining us here on Weather Center Live. I'm Kelly Cass. And I'm Kate Parker. Winter storm Thor already causing travel problems in the Midwest and dangerous conditions persisting all day for you. This is a long lived event for sure. We're going to check in with Mike Bettis in just a few minutes to see where this storm is going to be impacting folks. But first, take a look at just how far reaching this winter storm Thor is going to be with so many people under alert. Blizzard warnings, freezing rain advisories, winter storm warnings, winter weather advisories, winter storm watch. It's a smattering of different winter weather advisories in place right now. Upper Midwest, Northern Plains, all the way into New England, and then even down south into Little Rock. That's where you've got those advisories in place right now. Yeah, about 134 million people being impacted in some way from winter storm Thor. Well, winter storm Thor does have its sights set on Chicago. In fact, snow has already been falling there this morning. They had snow this morning. They had record cold over the weekend, mm -hmm. and they have some freezing rain as a concern as well. So Reynolds Wolf is there right now. Reynolds, uh, the visibility very low behind you. Is that snow or is it more of a freezing rain? Then the other story, obviously, you know all about that too with that polar plunge taking there, taking place there over the weekend. Let's talk more about our forecast and what we can expect. We'll get back to Reynolds in just a second because I want to show you all the colors on our radar. The purple indicating some of that freezing rain. Uh, Reynolds currently in a little bit of a break, but you can see the snow just off to the north in Milwaukee where the temperature right now is 27 degrees. Rockford, you're quiet right now with just the clouds around and 29 degrees. Whereas we time it out though, freezing rain going over to more showers and temperatures, Reynolds getting back up above freezing. So that's certainly some good news, but I know the road conditions are still going to be a little dicey as we try to do some traveling over the next couple hours, Reynolds. And it's just 3.6 inches to go. That's what we were just talking about. Boston still chasing its snowiest season on record, and the 20 year old record could fall this week. That's why Mike Seidel is live in Boston. Welcome back to Weather Center Live, everybody. We are watching Boston very closely because right now we're at the number two spot, but Ooh. hey, we could see number one. I know, and we're only 3.6 inches away. Look at that. We're at 104.1, the record 106 or 107.6. Mm -hmm. So the question is, are we going to do it? Are we going to take this brutal season and make it worth it? Might as well put it over the top. And Mike Sedell, <laughs> you might as well be there to see it all happen. I mean, that heap of snow right in front of you is just amazing. But we're going to talk, hold on one second. We're going to talk about just how much we can expect in Boston because initially, Kate, as you know, we could see a little bit of today, but again, as we go through early Thursday, much more. Yeah, that's when we're really, so you're going to see this kind of first swath of snow happen in the north, northeast. It's the second one where we're going to pick up some of these greater totals, but you know, if you go a little farther north, places like Lowell have traditionally been getting a lot more snow. Now with this system, it looks like this is going to concentrate itself a little farther to the south. Tell you what though, that four inches, Mike, let's bring you back. Four inches at Logan, that would make it official now, wouldn't it? Flipping and falling. We're Right, yeah, <laughs> safety issues, but it also sounds like people who are traveling who have been able to train a little harder in areas that haven't seen as much snow hey, may have the advantage this year, so we'll have to see how that goes. All right, thanks, Mike. So it's not just the snow in Boston. We know that we you've been dealing with that. You have all of that. We have the whole Northeast to be concerned about. There comes the snow across Pennsylvania as we speak. Yeah, we've got Buffalo to Erie right on down towards Pittsburgh, but notice that purple and pink not too far away. So places like Indianapolis where we had snow, now we're dealing with the ice, freezing rain advisory. <laughs> Going down on top of the snow, it, needless to say, incredibly dangerous driving conditions. You need to make those changes now. You've got a winter weather advisory across the Northeast, but beware because Wednesday night mm -hmm. you get another swath of that snow. And the so. heavier snow, certainly for places like New York. Well, it has been weeks of freezing cold temperatures and snow, of course, simply brutal. Now, the largest wintry mess of the season, it's moving into the Northeast, at least for some spots, and that's after these storms have dumped record amounts of snow uh, in several cities, leaving millions of us just we're counting counting down the days until spring. <laughs> All right, Reagan Medji is live now for us in Syracuse, New York at the Orange, uh, where, I don't know, are folks kind of over this year? Guys, back to you. Oh, that's rough out there. I don't blame them for heading down to Florida. And now winter. 95, another spot that we're going to see some issues. Uh, you know, we were just talking about I-80 and the Midwest and the travel concerns there. Let's talk about 95 and when you start to see the problems. Now, later on this afternoon, the snow starts filling in across New York. So you're going to see those uh, travel issues start to fill out, file on in. Then you're going to see a mixed precipitation, mixed bag of that. Look at what happens as you go a little farther north. By the time you get to overnight tonight, the temperature's warm, and you actually are going to see a break in places like Boston. You get a little bit of rain. You're not looking for much of that frozen precipitation. However, that being said, we do have the back end of the system, and that's when you're going to see a lot of that snowfall. I think, uh, Kelly, there's a lot of perception going on with this that you're going to get all that snow on the front end, but your totals through Thursday morning are going to be a lot higher 
across the northeast. That's when you're Wednesday night and into Thursday, you're going to see a lot more problems, and that's when we could have some air travel issues as well, right? Yeah, you think it got it rough on the roads? What about trying to catch a flight somewhere? Yeah, we're going to have some issues with that as well already today. We've had problems with delays as well as cancellations, especially for Chicago's O'Hare. Uh, you definitely need to check ahead with your individual airline carrier, but for the most part, we're seeing green dots all across the country. That means we're good to go as far as that goes. Maybe a delay there at Kennedy, and of course, we've got the red dot right over Chicago, and as I mentioned, that's where a lot of the cancellations are coming from for flights that are trying to get into Chicago. There's a look at the uh, board as far as delays go. We've got Chicago on the board with two hours and about 10 minutes. That's your average delay time, but keep in mind those cancellations kind of a preemptive measure so you don't have to be sitting in the terminal for too long. Kate? Well, another tribal nightmare has been the fog this morning, Kelly. And a we are so glad you could join us here on Weather Center Live. And if you're watching us from Oklahoma City this morning, we've got some low clouds hanging out over your city. Temperature 42 degrees. Uh, visibility not terrible. We've seen worse, but we do have everything in your forecast. We've got the rain, the snow, and everything in between as well. So we are definitely keeping a close eye on not just Oklahoma, but a lot of places that could be experiencing some tough driving conditions out there, Kate. Right. A lot of these interstates, uh, but it's not just those. We, we say the interstate, but Kelly, we mean going to the grocery store getting right. your kids to school. You know, those back roads can sometimes be a little more treacherous. So if you live in or around I-40, near or around, let's go ahead and give you your forecast for that because you've got a lot of rain right now. You're going to see uh, the showers off and on along I-40 if you're traveling from Oklahoma City to Memphis. Some heavier downpours anticipated as we get through the overnight hours tonight. So heading into your Thursday morning, we could see some additional concerns. Look at what happens. That cold air starts to intrude and we start to see that changeover first happen in Oklahoma City. We get some freezing rain potentially stretching into Kentucky uh, as we get into Tennessee later into the day on Wednesday. That's when we start to see some of that freezing rain as well. Places like Little Rock and Arkansas, another place where you could see freezing rain accumulating on your windshields, on your uh, on the roads, making things incredibly treacherous very, very quickly. So that's going to be our concern there. We've got some snow, of course, in the mix behind that. So that's going to be on top of the ice. And Kelly, that's a really scary thing because we're going to see that transition happen so quickly. So this is what it looked like this morning with those visibilities. They did improve as we went later into the morning, mm -hmm. but you know, in Jackson, we only had we had less than a mile. New Orleans, we had an eighth of a mile. There's that improvement, though. You get the sun coming up. You see that uh, fog mixing out. And so Dallas, you're up to a whopping two miles. How's that sound? Uh, Houston, uh, we have a problem, though, with that one eighth of a mile still visibility mile. still. But New Orleans, we've got the showers. That also helps to kind of mix up the fog Look and get at that this out drop. of here. How about that temperature drop? What do you think about that, New Orleans? Ooh, let's take a live Ooh. look there, where, of course, the dense fog advisory lifted not too long ago. And you're going to have plenty of clouds, but i got to love those temperatures in the mid-70s. But it does look like the rain is going to be sticking around for the rest of the week. And, Kate, you mentioned it. It is going to be cooling down for them as well. Significantly, a 33-degree drop in temperatures for your highs from Wednesday to Thursday. Big difference. So, obviously, we've got Plus a big old change. And then you put that in there. You've got, so, I know that it's kind of rainy out there right now. But at least it's in the 70s. We're taking our little blessings today. Yeah, Kelly, we've take got what you to. Got. Glass half full, right? Uh, we're going to fill rain. up those glasses, though, at least the rain gauges across yes. the Tennessee Valley down toward the southeast with some heavy rain at times. Nashville to the Gulf Coast. Nashville, we go over to that wintry mix Thursday, and you see that purple even down into portions of Alabama and Mississippi. Right. If you get into Birmingham and you add some ice, uh, we know that it is an incredibly dangerous situation, so we're concerned about the freezing rain there. But flood concerns across portions of Tennessee and into Kentucky, three to five inches through Thursday, that soil cannot absorb that much water that quickly. Yeah, and we've got that snowpack on the ground, too. That's just going to exacerbate the problem there. Atlanta, less than an inch overall, but a dismal forecast. we got to say it, right? I mean, at least we can still maybe uh, have lunch Ooh. outside tomorrow. <laughs> Kelly, I'll meet you out on the patio. Sounds good. You can, I'll stay inside on Thursday. How's that sound? I know, right? Temperatures <laughs> come crashing back down again. I'll be bundled up. Rain or snow, Winter Storm Thor is going to have everything for you. And Mike Bettis, he's coming oh, right so ice around the country have made some really dangerous driving conditions for millions of you this winter. The Weather Channel's Scott Newell headed north and discovered that when it comes to your tires, it's time to get a grip.